Good morning guys, good morning, how you doing? Hope you doing good? Kicking off, it's currently Saturday. Just finished a little run, Zoe, Zach and I. Then Zach and I hit the gym. And now we're making pancakes. Actually, we're not making the pancakes, that's a lie. Zoe's already made the pancakes, hers look unbelievable. I feel like I'm Neil Buchanan. Here's one I did earlier. Yeah. <laughs> or Blue Peter. Love a bit Have I done it right so far? Yeah. Thrown in a little bit into the mix, some frozen grapes. Wow, Alf. Is this a big dollar? That's quite a lot. I reckon you're all good there. I'm a big boy, though. <laughs> oh, I love it. You've just. <laughs> no, you, you can't leave you? that bit on. Yeah, hold it nice. Yeah, in a on. circular motion. From the middle outwards. Yeah, and then sort of onto the plate as well a little bit. Get a bit. That's it. Ooh, arty. Don't worry about then, that. Then pop your sprig on. This. Yeah, put your grapes on and then pop your sprig in. And yeah. Give that a little shake. You don't have oh, to yeah, squeeze that's it. The best bit. That's it. Okay. Zach. okay. <laughs> Are you happy with that? Yeah, well happy. And it's got the like that succulent looks... drip as well on the side. You've got to have that. Like. <laughs> that's the banging insta, bro. Yeah. Mine's a bit wonky. Oh, it is very wonky. A bit wonk dog. I need to pad him up. <laughs> oh my god. <laughs> otherwise, he's wonky. Just making a little coffee. Zoe's getting smack in the gram. <laughs> getting in the work for the gram. <laughs> Literally, the previous clip in the vlog is Zoe stood on the table getting a shot, and now look at you. <laughs> Go on, you got it. Yeah, yeah. That's it. Yes. Yes, sir. Good shit, boy. I haven't seen one since I had one when I was younger. And Nelson's milk snake. This is the oh, exact snake I had growing up. Look at him in there. Is that what you had? Yeah. This is my exact pet snake when I was younger. Little Milky. What's on you buying him and calling him by the same name? Imagine. Like when I was younger, I'd stick insects so much, but they were never like this. This is like next level. Look how chunky they are. What have they been fed? You're gonna have to bear with me today because my hay fever is ridiculous. We've not come to the garden centre to look at pets. The reason why we've actually come is because I was meant to put on like a wood coated finish on my mini ramp within two weeks of getting it installed. Kind of haven't done that. But today's a lovely day. We've come to the garden centre. So we're gonna try and buy a wood finish and put it on there today. I don't really know much more than that. I don't know what to use to put it on. I don't know which one we need to go for. We'll just see what happens. You're gonna want a few of these. I think they'll all be very similar. What colour do you want? Do you want just clear? I think a little bit of a darker, yeah. Golden brown, clear, more, red. You, you want to go for the protector rather than the like make it look nice. Because this one's just like keeps it looking beautiful yeah. for years. Whereas yeah. this is like Yeah, I want some kind of protection. Like water, good, it? Yeah. Six square meters per litre. Yeah. And this is a five litre. Five litre. That's low. That's oh, maybe we only need one. Yeah, that's 30 square meters. <laughs> they don't have any brushes here, so Zach and I think these will work. Zoe thinks otherwise. No. But like this one's good because it's a bit soft. That oh, could that could legit work. I honestly think you should just buy paintbrushes. Well, obviously. But they don't have any. <laughs> no, but I think we should go somewhere where they do have any. Alright, let's go. I think we're gonna, gonna win a mini. <laughs> I think I'm just gonna win it. Let's go for it. What's the money going towards? Sorry, Sussex Air Ambulance. Perfect. Bro, you know you just got the losing ticket, yeah? I'm just about to, I'm about to get the winning ticket. No. So we all just bought a five pound ticket, raffle ticket for the chance to win a new mini. We're in a hardware store, trying to find some paintbrushes. Shed and fence brush. That's what you want. Are you kidding me? Hello. That's literally the guy. We've got everything we need, we think. Hi. If we don't, can't do anything about it. 
time to get cracking. Shaking up for a minute. Oh, bro. We're gonna start with this panel here. We're gonna do one little panel at a time. We thought we had enough for one layer, maybe even two. Definitely don't have enough for two. And this is all we've got left of the pot, which isn't really too much. We need to pick whether we want to do the top of this side or the top of this side. side. Yeah, or the actual side of the ramp. Are you off? Appreciate the help, bro. Looks incredibly patchy, but it's only the first layer. Literally used every single drop. Like the end finishing up this side down here, we were literally so stingy with it. And also we didn't manage to do the tops. So next time I go, I'm gonna get two tubs, one for a second layer, and then one for layer one and layer two on the top. It is hot. And also Nala is frustrated. Yo, it looks so good. The color of that. Mm -hmm. Nala is frustrated wow. that she hasn't been able to come around because I didn't want her obviously to either walk in it or lick it or sniff it or anything like that. Here she is. Hello. So confused. I don't know how the time has already gone so quickly today, but it is currently... What's the time? Is only like half two? Yeah. It's gone like half past two already. Just making some chicken wraps with some diced little bits of avocado. Now let me teach you how to properly wrap a wrap, because I see so many people make a wrap, looks lovely, and then they go like this, and then everything just falls out the bottom. So this... Little tip for you people. Fold the bottom up. This sounds ridiculous. I'm teaching you how to wrap a bloody wrap, but if you're doing it wrong, you're doing it wrong. Then you fold the side, then you fold the other side. Now nothing can fall out the bottom. Mmm. Yo. I'm not gonna take the credit because the season the chicken was pre-seasoned. So the bit that tastes actually good. That wasn't me. So it may not look like it. Oh my god, my knee just went in the biggest spider web in the world. No, 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 no. No, I hate that. It's all stuck in my leg hair. Let's move around here. There is no chance I'm sitting there. I'm sorry I just destroyed like half of your home. I didn't mean to, but it's now stuck in my leg hair, which is great. Anyways, just got out of the shower, which it doesn't look like it because I'm wearing the exact same top half clothes, my t-shirt and my hat that I was wearing earlier, so it doesn't look like it in the vlog, but I am. Zoe and I just watched Toy Story 3, because if you don't already know, Toy Story 4 has just come out yesterday for me, and I really want to go and see it, but I wanted to be like fully recapped, refreshed on Toy Story 3, so we just watched that now together, and I just cooked Zoe dinner, so she's eating that, and my dinner's currently in the oven cooking up. But I wanted to talk about something that happened yesterday, something that is super exciting, because if you've been following the channel for I don't know, maybe like six months or so ago it was. I worked on a video with, was it a video, was it? No, it's just Instagram. So if you've been following my Instagram uh, for about six months, you'll know that I worked with LG on an Instagram, a couple of stories and an Instagram photo. They gave me one of their brand new TVs to put in the background of all of the episodes of The Secrets Out. Since then, we've been talking about ways in which we can work again. And I've been very, very open with them. I said, look, I don't need a new TV for the house. Um, I'm very, very happy with all the TVs we got in the house. I'm very, very happy with the TV that you gifted me before. So there isn't really any ways in which we can work together on TV stuff because I don't need a TV until I thought of the perfect idea. Poppy and Sean, my sister and her boyfriend, just moved house like about two weeks ago. It was during my kayaking trip. So I thought the best thing, the best Big brother, no I'm not the big, I'm the little brother. The best little brother, she's gonna kill me for saying big brother. Possibly the best present I could give somebody that is moving house into a new house would be the new, the best TV there is to put inside their new house. So I contacted LG, this is seriously, this is how it happened. I reached out to LG 
and I said to them, look, is there any way that we can work together on a video, on Instagram as well, on gifting Poppy and Sean a TV for their new house? Somehow, the lovely Viva LG said yes. So this video, I'm super excited to say, is sponsored by LG yesterday morning, literally like super early at like half past eight, nine o'clock, I went over to Sean and Poppy's house and Poppy wasn't in, she's currently wearing a Hindu, and I gifted them the brand new Nano Cell TV, which, yeah, went down, as you can imagine, incredibly well. So I'm gonna insert the footage now. It looks good. Like this is a prime entertainment spot. Look, the sofa's already here. It is just asking I'm for it. My feet up. It's just asking for the PlayStation. I'm being so precious with it. Okay, we're getting serious now. I'm taking off my jumper. <laughs> we just got the stand out and we need to put it all together. Yeah, I've got but three. We've got to make sure we get the right screws in the right places. Is that the last one? Also, if you're confused where I am, Poppy and Sean, since I've last vlogged with them at their place, have moved place. Have so you this is. This I don't think I've ever vlogged in this house. I just love how easy this is. It's just literally four screws. Do you want to do it or do you want me to do it with oh, you? Oh, no, you grab that side. <laughs> <laughs> Bro, I think that fits perfect. That is perfect. I don't think we could have picked a better size. Like, legit. Look at that! Are you okay there? I feel like I'm in bloody Star Wars! <laughs> I was gonna have this as my like gaming setup, but I don't need any more games. You don't need yeah. a PlayStation. Yeah. Look, click that wheel. <laughs> yes! Look at how I don't know why I feel like I need to hold it with two hands like a sword. So she wants currently setting up Netflix on the TV. Whilst he's doing that, I'm gonna open up this sound bar. We are in. Are we in? We are in. Get some Netflix. Yes, oh. yes, 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 yes. Hello? Yeah, 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 savage. Yeah, yeah. In, like, savage, savage. That was just LG. <laughs> Hello? Yeah, yeah, savage. Yo, look at that. Once everything's plugged in and wired in, then obviously you can adjust to where it sounds better. Yeah. Bro, I didn't realise I just got you a piece of art for your wall. <laughs> Wait, what? Is that the screen? Yeah, it's just a piece of art. Oh, there's another oh, one. it changes. Yeah. That looks like a Monet. I just bought you a cheeky little Monet. Cheeky little Monet. As soon as I get back this evening, I'm plugging my PlayStation in. This is me. Getting Domino. This is me. I'm not moving. I'm actually not moving. I don't, you need to get, no, you need to get going, turn it off. No, you Netflix, need, boom. You need to get going, bro. I need to get going. I'm leaving you. Thank you so much. Of course. This is insane. It's better than my blooming TV at home. Look at my setup. It's better than anything I've got. <laughs> Congrats on the new house. Uh, thank you, man. Here's a moving in present. Oh, <laughs> well, not from me, from LG. No, it's so, so, so nice. I'm so happy with it. It's currently five or six days since I filmed what you've just seen. I've just walked into Poppy and Sean's. I promise you this is not set up. I promise. I've literally just walked in. Do you even know what I'm about to say, Bob? What? I'm watching it. Where are you? <laughs> but why aren't you in your TV room? You literally, <laughs> you legit, this is meant to be their room for their TV. This is like the cosy TV room, but because the new TV is so much better than that one. We're just chilling in here. But you've got a whole TV room. Why is the light? And it's really nice. <laughs> what are you watching? Yay. Oh, is this prison program? <laughs> if there's any way to prove the quality of this TV. It's the fact that Buzz thinks every single animal on the screen is real. I just had to rewind this to show you the quality. That is insane, it's like a painting. It does help that we are watching probably the most high definition program you can get to show off the quality of the TV, but. Oh, look at it. <laughs> that is so cute. Oh, Buzz. No. Stop it, mister. So big love to LG for allowing me to make that gift happen. 
that's super super special and they're gonna love it in their new house as you can tell sean is over the blooming moon uh lg did go one step further and they gave me a little present which i didn't ask for and they've gifted me the brand new lg speaker it is called the x boom go and they've said this will be perfect because i currently don't have speakers on the mini skate ramp this is gonna be perfect to put at the top blast my music whilst i'm skating and also it lights up like this. It looks so sick. I was testing it out the other day in the office. Really, really cool of LG to, to say yeah, because I reached out with just the, the off chance of an idea of surprising Poppy and Sean, and they, uh, they went along with it. So thank you so much, honestly, thank you. Let's head back inside and see how my, oh my gosh, no way. Literally perfect timing for my sausages, whoa. Can't see anything, all steamed up. Let's see how many I can get in one pinch. In fact, let's see if we can get all of them. Yes. Let's just pretend that didn't happen. Heading out for a late night little skate sesh with my friend Morgan. We're gonna meet down at the beach. Actually, no we're not, I'm gonna pick him up, but then we're going for a skate down at the beach. I haven't skated in too long. Sick art installation down on the beach at the moment that I haven't seen yet. We won't be able to go inside obviously because it's like half past nine so it's going to be closed. But I want to show you it. Upside down house and all the rooms inside it are upside down. So when you're taking pictures it looks like you're on the ceiling if you put the camera upside down. It looks so cool. Hey! Sick! First time? Oh, first time? <laughs> right now, I'm officially the worst at skating I think I've ever been. Like, I don't know if you could see from that time lapse or not, Morgan just beat me at a game of skate and he had S. Not good, not good. Late night game of basketball. That's actually unbelievable lighting. So I was gonna end the vlog where it was just then. However, I've just had a notification that a parcel that I ordered that I thought was arriving tomorrow has actually just arrived at the office. So it's Sunday morning. I sound incredibly blocked up because my hay fever is through the roof and I'm headed to go and get this parcel from the office. Hey, here we go. Actually, just before I go, I want to show you something because I've been getting a lot of warm overexposed. There we go. A lot of comments on my Instagram and on a couple of videos now asking me, Alfie, what hoodie are you wearing? There, there is no such colour as that for future self. We've been working a ton on a lot of new colours that are coming out fairly soon. I can't show you everything because I don't want to leak too much stuff. But a lot of things that aren't out are soon to be coming out. That's all you're gonna get, that's all you're gonna get. A couple of months ago now, for some reason I got into buying little puzzles. It's so funny when people look at me when I'm vlogging in public. I got into buying these little puzzles online that were basically like, you know like we you get in a Christmas cracker, the two little like twisted pieces of metal that you try and undo? Very, very complicated versions of those. And I came across these a couple of days ago on Amazon Prime. I don't know what level they are, how hard they are to actually solve. Um, but I ordered four of them because I thought it'd be funny if I put a prize inside all of them. And then Morgan, Sean, Zach and Steve all have it at the same time. First one to solve it gets the prize. The other three who don't manage to solve it first don't get the prize. So I'm going to do that in a future vlog. But Zoe, when I was leaving this morning to come into town, I said, I'm just popping into town to go and get these things from the office. Is there anything you need me to pick up? She said two things. The first thing was milk. The second thing is a surprise. Now I feel like it would only be fitting, since I've got these with me, to buy a little something, a little surprise. I don't know what it is yet. We're just gonna have to go around the shop and try and find something cool that Zoe would like. Put it in here, 
and see before all the boys do it, which I want to do in like a separate vlog, I want to put a little something in here and see if Zoe can work out how to open it to be able to get the little surprise that she asked for in town. Now she's probably just expecting like a chocolate bar or something. I have no idea what I'm going to buy. I tried to go just then to a little shop along here, but unfortunately it's closed and get some camera film for her. Because last night I started a new Instagram called at Alfie Days Film for just film photos, like film photography. And she loved it and she loves film cameras. So I was going to buy her some film roll, but the shop's closed, which is annoying. It's a Sunday. I'm looking in all these different shop windows, but it's going to have to be very small to fit inside this box. It's just a puzzle box. There's nothing in it currently. Ah. You have to try and open it. Yeah. Try and open it. It will have like mechanisms inside it. Or like, yeah. can you open? I can't now. You have to uh, work so, out how to do it. T minus 20 minutes to work it out. We'll see. <laughs> I'll it's, let you know. Nice. Yeah, it's, it's cool, like, isn't it's it? Like a it's like a nice little, yeah. But like a. What is inside? Nothing currently. You can put stuff in it, yeah. I've kind of just realised that I can't open the box myself, which means that I don't know how big the spaces inside so i've just been walking around town for literally like 20 minutes i can't even explain like a good amount of time trying to find something that i think is going to fit inside the box yet i don't know how big the inside of the box is to be able to put something cool in there for zoe so it's currently empty i thought the puzzle was going to be easier than what it is i've got to be home by two o'clock because at half past two zoe and i are going to a charity tea party it's gonna be cool. I'm not gonna vlog it, it's just not the kind of vibe to vlog. Not gonna lie, I have no idea what the lunch is that I bought. I just went to the healthiest place. The woman in front of me ordered, and then I was just like, yeah, I think that sounds great. I'm gonna go for that as well. Literally have no idea. I know there's rice in there, and tomatoes, and cucumber, but I actually have beetroot. I have no idea what this is. It just looks incredibly healthy. I bought a book that Zoe and I were looking at, we wanted to purchase whilst we were in Amsterdam, but it's so big and thick and heavy, as you can see here, that we literally would have been charged extra just to bring it home in our suitcase because it's so heavy. If you haven't already checked it out, definitely you should check it out. It's a really nice book. Don't you worry. I've only gone and done it. I don't want to show or give away anything that alludes to how I did it, which I know is going to be annoying for you watching. I will show you how to do it another day, but if this video goes up before I film Sean and Zach and Morgan and Steve trying it, then obviously that'll ruin that, because I've got, as you've seen, I've got four of them, so that the boys can have one each, and all try at the same time. And I'm, I'm going to put a good prize in the middle, so that whoever gets it first gets, gets a very good prize. It's a puzzle, isn't it? So he goes, oh, is this a game? What do I have to do? Open it. <laughs> I can't. Why not? Because it's impossible. No. I'm sorry, but this sort of stuff. So I'm thinking there's got to be some sort of either slide and push. I was looking to get something in town for you to put inside it. So that if you get it open, then you can get something. <laughs> but whilst I was in town, I didn't know the size of the inside because I couldn't open it. <laughs> So I couldn't find know. any. I couldn't find anything. I was, I was looking in a jewellery shop. I was like, do I get like a nice little ring or some earrings? You can't put a ring in this. I think it was a proposal. No, you would. Can you imagine? You can be. You can. I no, it's just super awkward. To you it's... If you can open. Yeah. It. <laughs> There's a magnet. Where? Inside. What do you have to do then? Is there a magnet on the other corners? No. So just on one corner. I can't. No, go on. No, I you're, don't have the patience. You're a little bit of the way there. No, I'm not. You are. You've just worked out that there's something on one corner but not on the others. Gorgeous. These things. I can't do riddles and I can't do these. Trust me, you've got this. But it's impossible. So what could it be in the corner? It's a magnet. Yeah, so what? think about the shape of the magnet. What could it be doing? <laughs> you probably shouldn't really show. Yeah, I'm going to blur quite a bit. Do you think that counts as you completing it? No, you showed me. I worked out two things myself. Yeah. 
if you I were left with it for like, it. I don't know, an hour, do you reckon yeah, you could have done it? Yeah. Do you think? Yeah. It yeah. would have frustrated the hell out of me though. That's what I don't know if I would just, if it took too long, I feel like I would just get frustrated and give up. Yeah. Anyways, hope you enjoyed the video. Give a thumbs up if you did. Again, big love to LG for hooking up Poppy and Sean with the TV. And I will see you soon with a new video where I'm going to put in some good prizes and see if the boys can see if the boys can solve the the box puzzle